What is going on guys? This is the SS Ultimate Goku back with another video to do my uh NFL Beast uh Re Green Bay Packers recap divisional round playoff edition um uh game recap. Um and I, I did my quick video me being pissed off about the whole you know, we should have won the game and I, I don't I, I don't regret anything I said in that damn video. You know, uh, you can go, y'all that are commenting some clown shit, you know, you can stick it, man. Um, I don't give a fuck. We should have won that damn game. I don't care. We should have won the game. We won the time of possession. We ran more plays than they did. We controlled the game. Uh, the defense played outstanding. Uh, but again, those two crucial drops... On the first, uh, you know, the first, pl uh, like, uh, early in the game, we could have had an easy interception on Brock Purdy. Dropped it. Defender dropped it. Third quarter, throws it right to him. Drops it again. That's two turnovers right there. There's the swing right there. Um, some people are arguing the penalties. Uh, first of all, the penalties that happened, like those pass interference penalties, those were legit. Like, you guys literally were throwing down our receivers, uh, disrupting their chances to catch the ball. Yeah, that was pass interference, my dude. Those were legit penalties. Uh, what about the face mask they didn't call on Aaron Jones when he was clearly grabbed? Uh, what about the intentional grounding that wasn't called when Brock Purdy threw it and there was no receiver in the vicinity? Um, you know, uh, what about the referees screwing us on the first down play? Uh, on the fourth down, because that was clearly a first down. I zoomed in and I showed the picture. Like I was, I was like posting like like I literally showed. I like, I don't know if I could pull it up now. I mean, I might put it on my Instagram. <sighs> like I, I literally circled where his body was, where the red line is, where the freaking orange dot is, because that's where the official thing uh, is, uh, and he is across the damn line. And yet the referees didn't call it. They tried to screw us again later in the game. Uh, but we challenged it that time because it was obvious. Uh, we wouldn't have won the challenge on that one because it was too close. Um, but it was bullshit. It was clearly over the fucking line. Even the announcer said it. Even the announcer said that they didn't give him the right spot there. Like, you know, I don't want to fucking hear with that bullshit. And yes... You don't know how that drive would have finished. And again, never say anything about Jordan Love because there were many, again, opportunities. The dropped potential interceptions. The missed field goal, which would have at least tied a game and possibly get it to overtime. It wasn't all Jordan Love's fault. But at the end of the day, at the end of the day, what do we judge goddamn quarterbacks about? We judge them... In the two-minute drill. Two-minute drill. And you know damn fucking well that's the goddamn truth. To all you freaking people that are commenting about, oh, uh, I'm being, you know, 25 years, 25 years of success. 25 years of success, but yeah, we only have two goddamn Super Bowls. Yeah, 25 years, two Super Bowls. Tom Brady had six in one, on one team. Okay. Shut up. Joe Montana had four Super Bowls in, like, what, eight years? I don't want to hear that argument. 25 years of success, and yet we have two Super Bowls. We should have way more. We should have had more when Brett Favre was the starter, okay? We should have had more with Aaron Rodgers as the starter. You know, I don't want to hear that bullshit, man. The people commenting that stupid shit. Okay, I've seen people commenting that crap. Um, again, this game wasn't all Jordan Love's fault. Um, and I'm not putting all the blame on Jordan Love. They put Jordan Love in a bad situation at the end of the game, especially since we were up most of the second half uh, period. When we got up early on in the third quarter, we were down by a point going into – halftime and we got that score after the Niners went three and out you know we had the lead for the rest of the way until the last minute you know 
So yeah, there's a huge issue there. There's a huge issue there. And yeah, if the kicker makes the field goal, you know, we're talking about potentially overtime or maybe, you know, that the whole trajectory of Jordan Love's play call is different, you know, for the, uh, you know, for the field goal, for the possible winning field goal. Okay. Driving up the uh, possible field goal. But at the end of the day, your judge as a quarterback, your judge as a quarterback on can you deliver in the damn clutch all regular season jordan love when we came from behind or when we were down under two minutes go look it up every fucking regular season game that jordan love had to win the game we failed to do it okay and i said that and i said that you can look at every beast recap sh- uh Video I did, except for the Tampa Bay one, because uh, that was the only one I didn't do this year because, you know, something happened and I was unable to do it that week. But every other video, every other Beast recap Packers one that we did, we talked about this about Jordan Love. I talked about this about Jordan Love in the video. Um, so, yeah. That's my little rant on this. Um, going through the stats, um, again, defense played phenomenal. Jordan Love was 21 for 34, 194 yards passing, two touchdowns, two interceptions in the fourth. He had those two interceptions, crucial. Uh, A.J. Dillon, Quadzilla was out, inactive. Uh, Aaron Jones, 18 attempts, 108 yards. Rushing, I think they should have tried to get Aaron Jones more involved than he was uh, because I felt like he was really running rough shot on that uh, that defense. Um, Wilson had four attempts for 16 yards. He had a big hurdle. Jaden Reed had one attempt for nine yards. Jordan Love had five attempts for three yards. And here's another thing about Jordan Love that really annoyed me uh, is that he didn't try to run. He didn't try to run enough. Like, there were a couple of times where I thought Jordan Love had an open hole to run and could have gotten easy first downs or more, but he chose not to do it and tried to pass it uh, on certain plays. There were certain ones where I thought, okay, no one's open, go run it. And he didn't do it. And I know Aaron Rodgers would have done that. I know Brett Favre would have even done that in his younger years, at least. Um uh, Romeo Dobbs, four, te- uh, four receptions, 83 yards passing. Jaden Reed, four receptions, 35 yards passing. Bo Melton, one reception for 19 yards. Uh, he had the, uh, and that was the touchdown. Uh, Luke Musgrave, three attempts, four, uh, four rushing, or four receiving yards. Christian Watson, once again, not really much going on. One reception for 11 yards. Uh, Wilson, one attempt for 11 yards. Kraft had three receptions for nine yards, and he did have the touchdown. Aaron Jones uh, had the two-point conversion. He also had three attempts for eight yards, uh, three attempt rushings for rushings, uh, eight uh, yards receiving. Um, uh, Nick's uh, Tricky Dicky. Uh, Nick uh, Nixon uh, had uh, the um, he had the big kickoff return. Uh, he fumbled it. Um, uh, Eric Wilson uh, recovered the fumble, um, and we got a touchdown shortly after that. Um, you know, all day the defense pressured uh, Brock Purdy. They they had him on his back. They uh, looked solid against them. Um, they got a sack early on. I think it was the only one they got, though. Um, you know, Purdy uh, was on his back. He looked inaccurate. Like, he was missing a lot of throws. Like I said, I'm really surprised we didn't get a turnover on him. There were two. Like Well, we, we should have. There was two early on. 
or one early on and then the other in the third quarter. And again, that would have probably changed the trajectory of the game. Um, again, you can't really, you know, you know, at the end of the day, we got to finish and uh, we didn't finish, unfortunately, and that's, you can't really use excuses on that, but there's going to be a lot of things that we look back on here. You know, again, controlling the game. I believe we had more plays, like, at uh, right before half. Like, when it came out of half, they showed this, the, the, the score, or the, the whole comparison that, you know, the Niners had only ran 18 plays coming out of halftime, and the Packers had run, like, around 31 uh, plays. And I'm sure by the end of the game, the Packers had more plays, but we didn't win. Uh, and as well as the time of possession, uh, we dominated the time of possession and, again, didn't get it done. Uh, it hurts because I'm sick of losing to this damn Niner team. I'm I'm sick of it. I had such so much hope early on in this game. Uh, the way the game was going, I felt very confident in what what the team was doing and very, very disappointed at the result. Um, what should uh, we do about the kicker? Get rid of him. He missed more kicks this season than it's worth a while. I don't care that he's a rookie. If he doesn't make the kicks, get him out of here. Sign Mason Crosby again as far as I'm goddamn concerned at this point. Um, Got to get a new kicker. Um. I believe if the kicker made that field goal, we win the game in overtime. I truly believe we win this game in overtime. I can't say that for sure, but the way that defense was playing and the way our offense was uh, playing, you know, depending on how the coin toss goes, obviously, I think we win that game. I think we win that game if that game goes into overtime. The 49ers were tired. The 49ers were tired. In that game, they were tired. They were rusty. Purdy was throwing inaccurate balls. Uh, I think an interception was going to come if it had gone to overtime. You know, eventually it was going to give. And, um, you know, like I said, a lot of things we could have prevented and maybe the result would have been different. Two drop interceptions would have been a big significance. Um, but at the end of the day, it's all uh, a matter of inches. And I hope Jordan Love grows uh, into next year. When, you know, he comes in next year. Um, you know, he's young, obviously. This is his first year as a full-time starter. But at the end of the day, you are judged by what you do in the two-minute drill. That is for every quarterback. Every quarterback has been judged by has been judged that way since the days of Johnny Unitas. Okay, every quarterback has been judged. Can you come from behind in the two minute drill? That has always been the thing. That's always how I've approached it, and I always approach it that way. I, hell, I approached it with Aaron Rodgers over a decade ago. You know when he took over for Brett Favre. Uh, and I'm not going to not stop. I'm not going to stop now with, uh, with Jordan Love. Okay. So yeah, guys, that's my take. And, uh, I don't regret anything I said in that five minute, uh, aftermath video. So, you know, I'm going to chime back on those comments, man. I'm already chiming back on that. Um, don't push me. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, I will say in closing, since this is the last recap we'll be doing this year uh, for Green Bay Packers, I will say we overachieved in this season. I did not expect us to go to the playoffs this year, let alone win a playoff game, let alone possibly almost beat the 49ers, which I still think we should have won it. But at the end of the day, the fact that we were in the game when everybody thought we were just going to get run over over in the stadium uh, says a lot about this football team and uh, says about the resiliency of the entire team. The entire team worked their ass off to get there and to keep fighting until the end, which is what they did. Um, Jordan Love, 
obviously made an erratic pass at the end with the interception. But again, there are a lot of factors in this game that could have prevented any of that from happening, you know, um, and prevented Jordan Love from, you know, having to be put in that situation. So at the end of the day, there's a lot of things that went wrong, and there's a lot of reasons why we lost the game. Not all of it on Jordan Love, again, because I mainly blame the kicker more than anybody at this point right now. Um, but that's one thing we're going to be judged uh, when uh, you know we talk about Jordan Love right now is can he deliver in the two minutes? That's going to be something that – and unfortunately, that's what we're going to be talking about next season because he hasn't done it yet. So, yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think. Comment, rate. If you like to finish my videos, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell for all these contents. Thank you. And uh, that's about it. Thank you this whole year, guys. All my loyal Green Bay Packers fans. As always, go Pack Go. Um, I am the S Ultimate Goku. And I'm out of here. Peace. Also, make sure to go to my Discord. Or to, uh, I'm sorry. As much, go to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Twitch, uh, SS Ultimate Goku, Instagram, the SS Ultimate Goku, and do have my Discord link in the description where we talk about NFL, WWE, AEW, live action movies, live action TV series, anime dubs, cartoons, all that good stuff. And now I'm out. Peace.